to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. We are talking about waivers in this set of videos. And when doing a waiver, you have to be careful to include all of the grounds of inadmissibility. So let's say you're inadmissible because you have some theft conviction. So you're going to do a 212H waiver, okay, on Form I-601. And let's say you spend two months documenting it up and down and putting all kinds of supporting evidence in there. And when it comes time for the officer to adjudicate, let's say the officer adjudicates it and grants it. Well, you go to apply for your visa, you get the visa, and you're about to come in the country, and lo and behold, uh, they deny you entry because they say you're subject to the 10-year bar because you were unlawfully present in the US and you say but I got a waiver and the officer tells you well that's true you did get a waiver but that was for the criminal ground of inadmissibility not the way 10 year bar ground of inadmissibility the moral of the story is when you are doing an I-601 waiver you must include all of the grounds of inadmissibility not just one you can do one waiver that includes all the grounds of inadmissibility and just include what's necessary for each particular ground. But again, it's not the consular officer's or port of entry officer's uh, duty to you know, tell you what to apply for and what you are inadmissible under. They discover the grounds of inadmissibility and then they will determine whether or not a waiver has been properly done on that ground. So do your research, find out what grounds of inadmissibility you uh, can't come into the U.S. and get them all waived, assuming they can be. Okay, more on the coming videos.